Hello. Recording of first session between myself, Dr. Samantha Crane, with research specialist on uh, researcher has requested a private consultation regarding concerns over his personal mental safety due to the nature of his research role. Beginning first session. Sorry for the formalities. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, not like they're not already recording us anyways. I will neither confirm nor deny that my office has any of our benevolent employer's listening devices. Oh, no, me neither. No, not ever. Uh, not in the shower or in my bedside lamp or uh, under my b no, Not that I'd ever look. Rules are rules. <laughs> so is that what's bothering you? The constant observation? What? No, 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 not at all. Jesus, I'd be in the wrong gig if I was worried about someone knowing when I shit. You wouldn't be the first to have unexpected issues with the protocols. Now, we all think we can handle it, but day after day, week after week, month after month, that's a whole different story. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Even the best of us sometimes need some help. Uh, no, really, I, I, I don't think it's any of that. I... It, it's annoying sometimes, but I'm a big boy. It's, no, it's, um, it's hard to describe. It's fine. Take your time. I'm a professional listener, and they pay me by the hour. <laughs> what, what, what? You're getting paid? Man, they just roped me in with that whole saving the future of the species line. Um, <clears throat> I, uh... I am no good at this. You think someone who spends all day evaluating psychological responses would be better at this, huh? I have two ex-wives that would attest otherwise. Just start small. Right. Okay. Um, it's... So I want to be clear that it's not the actual work itself. I'm not unhappy here. I, I really think we're saving the future... I'm okay to continue the experiments. If I didn't think I could, I'd, I'd resign. I just, well, I just want to make sure that's clear. Darn, and I just sent my text to the redundant personnel disposal department. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're not on trial here. Okay. Um, I really do believe in... It's, it's just that when I first got here, I had a certain amount of underlying prejudice. I, I know it's, it's a shitty sentiment, but, but, but deep down, I just always figured there was, there was something about them that was just weaker. Something that made them just break when others didn't. It, it made the experiments uh, a bit easier. Hmm. And while you're still able to keep working, you feel something inside you has shifted? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, something really deep. Uh, I know they're all madmen, uh, one form or another, but, well, I can't really blame them anymore. And that's making it harder to study the effects of. Yeah. The good news is that you're probably not infected, at least no more likely than the rest of us. Um, as far as we know, compassion for the plight of your fellow man isn't one of the early symptoms. Still, it, it is troubling. And um, I can't just give you a pill that makes you feel better about it. Not if we want you to still be able to do the job at the required capacity. Yeah, I, I figured that. Um, and we don't have the time to do a, a, a cognitive rollback. Right. Uh, fortunately, I think that we can go old school for this. Your problem stems from compassion. So we can either cut out the part of your brain that feels compassion, or you can work on reclaiming your objectivity. Have you considered a mind palace? Uh, huh? N no, uh, I, I, I haven't. You think that would help? It couldn't hurt. And the concept is sound. You have to recontextualize your feelings for the subjects. Uh, like it or not, your initial sentiments were as much based on feelings as your current ones. The patients haven't changed. You have. So you need to come up with a space where you can observe them objectively 
process, analyze, collect the data, but without that personal connection. Oh, man, I've tried these before when I was in university. Are you sure we can't just go with the lobotomy? (laughs) Oh, come on, you big baby. It's not that much work. Try making a game out of it. 